Welcome to 2016 Summer Pin Pack. Wow. <sighs> Take two. Welcome to Steam Summer Picnic Sale Extra. Ex ex Anyways, welcome to this to this uh, Steam Summer Sale. Brought to you by the letter S and the number zero. As I guess that's what happens at the end of the sale. We come back with zero monies. Um. So, we're doing another Steam uh, look, another uh, video on, like, what to think, what's my thoughts on some of these games. Uh, we'll go through the list. We'll go probably about, because um, once you keep on scrolling, it starts refreshing some games. Um, as usual, as a disclaimer, remember, you save more money by not buying games. So, there's that. I just, I think that's always need to be stated. You save more money by not buying games. Anyways, like the past few Steam sales, there's no more gimmicks. What you see is what you get from the start. At June 2016 um, at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to July 4th, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is the sale. Um, so let's start off with um, what we got here. Um, just going to shout out some names. Um, my thoughts. At the bottom of the description, I'll put a quick overview playlist. So I got some games there um, that I've reviewed for the past since I've been doing uh, YouTube. But without further ado, let's start with Stellaris. Do recommend this game if you're if you love uh, any of the Civgate or uh, Endless Legend or uh, Endless um, that the uh, the space one. Uh, this is like a grand strategy on a galactic scale, and that's it's pretty much right. Um, right now it's uh, thirty six bucks, but I still think this game is well worth forty. There's different flavors. Uh, so there's uh, the D Nova Edition and the um, Galactic Edition, just adding a little bit more stuff. Uh, the Nova Edition, of course, get the original soundtrack. Pretty good soundtrack. And an exclusive Alien, um, which is which is weird. And then the uh, the Gal Galaxy gives you a uh, ebook, some uh, collector's book, um, digital collector's book. Okay, that's interesting. Some signed wallpaper, um, a unique profile, and again the uh, Alien race and the original start uh, original uh, soundtrack. Again, I do recommend this game for forty bucks. You can easily drop so many fucking hours in this. Uh, I do have a play of that, um, of course, as it starts here. Lego Star Wars, always a fun game. They're always good. Some of them are actually not on sale. This is weird, but yeah, we have uh, yeah this one right here, the Lego Star Wars Force Awakens. That just recently came out in June, so that's not on sale. Uh, we got Lego Marvel. We got Lego Marvel's Deluxe, which includes the Season Pass. Lego Worlds, which um, is in beta for online multiplayer. We also have Jurassic World, um, Batman 3, Batman 2, Batman 1, Harry Potter 1 through 4, Harry Potter 5 through 7, Lego Lord of the Rings, Marvel Super Heroes, Lego the Movie, the Video Game. This is really weird. Uh, the Hobbit, uh, the Complete Saga of Star Wars, The Clone Wars, I think is completely different from from the complete saga indiana jones um one two and the pirates of the caribbean i think it's really weird that these are not on sale it's really weird um we also have sonic uh you might want to pass on some of these lost world is that uh wii u one i think it is yeah i think it is i think yeah this looks like the wii u one i don't know but, hey, they're all bad. I do recommend that if you're into kart racing, check out Sonic All-Star, Sonic and All-Star Racing Transformed, and, of course, Sonic Generations. That's all you need. The rest is all pretty shit. Uh, of course, we have uh, the old classic Sega Genesis and Sega City CD uh, versions right here, Sonic Adventure DX and Sonic uh, Adventure 2. Both passable at the time. They were pretty good, but now they do not hold up. So, War of Mine is a pretty... Uh, pretty Weird one. It's a platformer survival game. Um, pretty heavy duty on the emotions. You, uh, it's like during what was it during? Is uh, back in the eighties or nineties when the, there was like a lot of uh, unrest in uh, Eastern European, uh, Eastern Europe, and all that stuff. It's um, they just recently released a new DLC to the War, War uh, Child Charity DLC, which is a um, was it that or something else? I don't know, but I do recommend this game. It's a really a bit of intense. I haven't played this. It's a, I've heard that it can be a little bit intense in terms of like, hey, there's some shit going down here. Um, maybe a little bit too dark for younger kids. Of course, we got NBK216. This shouldn't be here. Uh, Call of Duty, uh, Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. This uh, recently came out this year 
for the PC. It's been out on Xbox 360 and PS3 for a while. Uh, it's kind of like a uh, JRPG, uh, similar between Skyrim and uh, Dark Souls from what I heard. Axis of the Singularity, this is the benchmarking um, game now. Uh, I, I haven't really heard much about this game. As it's more like I just go to Digital Foundry and you're using this for like DirectX 12 and a DirectX 12, uh, 11 um, things. Uh, so it does look gorgeous. I know it's really hard to depict uh, these small pictures, but like, look at all these units. It's a really CPU driven um, CPU driven game. So you got that going. What else? What's next? What's next? Come on. Again, the Steam Store will be running a little bit slow. Uh, if there's any, like, say, anything's going on, uh, make sure to keep up on the blogospheres of what's going on with uh, Steam because sometimes, you know, there somebody can fuck up at Steam and you see a bunch of user IDs and all that stuff like they did at Summer. But remember, your stuff is pretty secured. Um, again, if you're using a two-step authenticator, you can always be, uh, you will always save. Um, so we got Dragons talking about Payday 2. Do not recommend as it's... Uh, they released a new DLC. I don't know. From what I've... I've never was a big fan of this game. It's really four-player uh, Left 4 Dead. Overwhelmingly positive. So it's just... I remember a couple months ago, this game was hated. Now it's liked. Um, they got rid of the microtransactions and all that stuff. But it's... I don't understand, like, they got rid of the microtransactions. But, like, aren't these kind of micro? Like, it's four bucks, a dollar. Some free stuff. But a bunch of weapons and all that stuff. Um... What's his name is in this? Ron Perlman is in this now, so... I don't understand what's going on with this. But, hey, it's Payday 2. They announced Payday 3 earlier this uh, month or last. Uh, what else we got? Um, so this is the main feature. Below it, we have now a uh, featured free-to-play. So this is all like content for free-to-play games, such as uh, Marvel Hero, uh, Smite, and uh, Brawlhalla, and Heroes of General. So, you know... You got some of that. A lot of a lot of free to play games might have some um, some content there, and then of course they got the VR feature here, uh, and then they're doing the free trading cards. But again, it doesn't really do much. Uh, you know, buy more, get more. So we got uh, you know hover junkers, whatever. Um, more highlight deals. Jack box, Jack packs, body box. Do recommend this if you like have a little. If you you have little get-togethers, do recommend this. I play this a bunch with my friend. Um, Orcs must die. I always recommend this because uh, it's always pretty cheap. Even at fifteen dollars, you get tons of time out of this. It's a two-player game. Uh, kind of, kind of like a um, a good tower defense game. Uh, Banished, really good. Always recommend this game. A uh, medieval. Uh, Medieval citizen city management game, which is kind of cool. Anno. Uh, heard really not much about this, but I mean, it's Anno. From what I heard, they haven't changed much. Uh, Gauntlet, four player. Again, recommend this if you have four friends. Uh, it sucks with one person. It's good with two. Great with uh, uh, three. And amazing with four. Um, so it's a simulator. Kind of a novelty game, but it's $2, you know, whatever. Uh, Deus Ex is also on sale. Again, if you like RPGs and you like first-person shooters, definitely recommend Human Revolution Director's Cut. This is uh, this is a kind of reinterpreting of the uh, Human Revolution with a uh, little bit of tweaks towards boss fights and all that stuff. Uh, of course, uh, Mankind coming out later this year. And if you want to go back to the original Deus Ex Game of the Year, always a good one. Maybe pass on uh, Deus Ex Fall, The Fall, which is the mobile version, I think, mobile game, and uh, Deus Ex Invisible War, which is uh, a little bit weird. So moving on and along here, uh, Stardew Valley is also a pretty good game. It does get a little bit repetitive in terms of like, hey, uh, there's you're you're going to be doing a lot of things over and over and over again. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Anno, Cobalt, Solus Project a, is a nice uh, turn ba or a nice uh, adventure survival game. So you're I don't know much about it. I've just heard that it like it's really beautiful and all that stuff. Uh, the Green Men, um, the Mean Green Plastic Warfare, this looked really fucking cool. Like, look at these fucking, like, these maps are amazing. The visuals are amazing, but the shooting just wasn't there. It just felt really tedious. Um, it's like whoever was designing the, like, the concept of shooting didn't have no idea what he's doing, but the, like, the visuals and, and the map layouts look really fucking cool and made a lot of sense. Uh, some of the map modes didn't actually make sense. 
Along with uh, games, we also have some Steam hardware. I do recommend the Steam Link if you have like a TV and you like you you like playing games on your couch. Uh, you can plug in an Xbox 360 controller, you can or Xbox One, a PlayStation controller, and you can use that. I do not recommend the Steam controller as you, you probably already have a controller and that's good enough. There's no reason why you would ever use this. Um, I do not recommend the HTC Vive as it is eight hundred dollars. $800, guys. Remember that. That's $800. Um, that's a lot of money. And there, there's not there's no killer apps on there yet. So, again, I'm not saying this no, it's a bad thing. I'm just saying do not recommend for now. Come back later. Maybe in a couple years this software has hit there. But that's really expensive um, for very little stuff. Uh, also, you have here your wish list. Again, you know, Axiom Verge is a um, Metroidvania, you know, American Truck Simulator. These are all my stuff. And we got tops. Doom is on sale for 36 bucks. Do recommend that. Smash it. Kind of like came out of... It was like, dude, is this game going to be good? Like, this is this game's going to be bad, yeah? Because it's Doom. They're just calling it Doom. This game's going to be bad. And, of course, it's amazing. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V, always a good game. Even the single player. It's still, still one of the best single players out there. Fallout 4. Um, still a pretty good game, not as, like, good as Fallout 3 or New Vegas, but, because with some of the dialogue choices, but it's still an amazing game. The Wild, Wild Hunt, definitely buy that. That's a great, amazing open world game. Last year was an amazing year for open world games. Tomb Raider, another good game. Um, Dark Souls 3, take it or leave it. Ark, nope. CSGO, hey, whatever. Ar Armor, Armor 3 is still doing a franchise there, so you can pass on that. Uh, Dead by Light is actually very new, but still on sale. It's a uh, 1v4, which has been uh, grown up on the social medias. But as we keep on going, it's just you can still see what's going on. We got XCOM 2. Um, Synodica is back to $12. I can't recommend this game. Great game. Rust. Recommend this game if you want to fucking die a lot and have like a real risk survival game. It's crazy. Because people will fuck you up. Um, Metal Gear Solid, The Phantom Pain. I don't know how to, like, handle this because the game is amazing. Uh, Hideo Kojima just put so much work into it, but I do have a problem with supporting Konami and their, like, way they're handling, you know, their video games. They pretty much turned Metal Gear Solid 3 into a pachinko machine. Um, Table Simulator, also a fun game. Guess what? The scout, this game now has, like, official packs, which is pretty crazy. It's just like crazy, crazy, crazy shit. Uh, it does suck that you're you also everybody has to buy it. What's is dumb? That's dumb. Uh, what else? I mean, it, we could keep on going for hours and hours. Uh, Rise of the Two Meter, good. Rocket League's good. Um, you know, Stellaris, um, Dying Light. The following. This is a really good game. They just re-released it with all the DLC and a little bit extra hooks. Uh, really good zombie game. That could be really good. Um, what else? Stick of Truth, blah, blah, blah. Life is Strange this is interesting. Um, oh, it's only for, like, $2? Holy shit. Oh, this must be the first level. Life is Strange is an interesting adventure game. Uh, Rainbow Six, pretty good game, but I wouldn't buy it on the PC because of, uh, it probably a little bit of cheaters and it has you play. Again, the classic Skyrim. And probably all the DLC, Left 4 Dead. Assassin's Creed Syndicate is the most recent one, and it's actually been really well-received. Uh, Just Cause 3, I do recommend this game. Um, 30 bucks is a little bit much since it came out uh, last year. Interesting. Uh, Dishonored, not a big fan of that. Uh, Payday, Banish. Uh, Firewatch is, I feel like 14 bucks, 15 bucks is a good price for this. It's a two-hour kind of adventure game. Very narrative-focused, very gorgeous. Uh, but that's it. You only play it once. Um, all the scrolls online. Uh, meh. Meh. Black Flag is one of the better uh, Assassin's Creed. The boat stuff is really cool. Story is pretty dumb. Uh, Borderlands, of course, always a good choice there. Bioshock Infinite, always a good choice. Uh, Call of Duty, B Call of Duty, meh, meh. But we're getting down there. Um, yeah, we got Civ, just tons of good games. As always, guys, it's Steam. It's the Steam Summer Sale. If you don't buy the game, you're already saving yourself money. 
if you have any suggestions or questions about video games, um, you know, send it in the comments. Like, hey, man, this game's, like, pretty good. You should give it a second shot. Or, no, dude, Caboose, you were really right. That game is shitty by yourself. Or it's amazing with friends. But as always, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, at Caboose967. And um, as always, guys, see you on the next one.